Good morning guys, so I am just on my way to work and I'm feeding Archie at the moment. He's had a little bit of a laminitis episode, so having to come down here because he's yarded and feed him in the morning, which we normally actually don't do, they get fed once a day. Um, so I thought that this video is going to be a little bit of a mix match. I'm going to bring you along with me to a few different things and it's just going to, we're just going to see how that goes. So I thought that I would bring you with me today and we'll start the video here. Um, I've got work and then the vet might be coming so we might be able to see if we can get um, some clips of that. Edda is going to the vet as well um, in a few days so we'll add that in here too. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's good to see you all again and we'll talk to you as we go along. Bye! So, and it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day today. It has been raining and been freezing cold in Melbourne, like really uncharacteristically. I think it's been the coldest spring since 2007. And of course, on the day I need to go to work, here's Archie. The day I need to go to work, it is sunny and it's probably going to be 26. So I'm here to take the rugs off and go to work. Not a great time. So I'll tell you a little bit about why Archie's in the yard. As I said before, he's had a little bit of uh, laminitis, which he's never had in his entire life. So um, he was fine one day galloping around, weren't you? Um, just gal like literally galloping around in his paddock. He was a nut job. And then the very next day, he couldn't walk. He was rocking back on, on his hinds. And it was pretty obvious that he had um, what people would sometimes call founded, but um, just some laminitis. So because he has a club foot, um, I've explained it on my Instagram, but I'll see if I can do a good job of explaining it here. He's got a club foot, which means that um, the, uh, the pedal bone in his foot is already um, turned a little bit downwards and it's a little bit closer to the sole. So it's a lot worse with the laminitis in that foot. So he's still quite lame. The vets came, x-rayed him, um because he actually went down and we couldn't get him back up which was really 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 scary we've never had that before um so we couldn't get him up eventually did get him up he was such a cute little boy he was lying down nickering to me he was like i think he knew we were there to help so doing much better vets came and x-rayed him he's still on a lot of butte stop it um doing better but obviously he's still quite sore it'll probably be six weeks that he's off now. 2019 has not been a good year. As you know, Marco just had his pretty bad injury and now Archie's off as well. So I've got Lady who's looking very fat. So she's gonna come back into work and then hopefully be sold in the next two to three months. So we'll be working on her because I don't have another one. And hopefully the fall will be born as well soon. So Edda isn't looking like she's going to go anytime soon. So praying she gets a wiggle on, but I guess she knows and I think it's actually the foal that decides when it's ready to come out. So I guess it needs to cook some more. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is the next day now. Um, I think I said vet was coming in my last thing, but I definitely meant farrier. Didn't get um, any clips of that, but I'll just recap what happened with that there. So um, don't really, uh, ah, are you right? Just licking my hair. The vet um, gave a vet report for the farrier to do they needed to shape Archie's foot so that the sole of the foot was like the um, middle part of where all the um, pressure was going so taking all the pressure off the toe um, Archie seems to be walking a little bit better we're trying to ease him off the butte but he's probably not improving as much as we would like are you so obviously Butte isn't great for horses to stay on, so we really do need to wean him off it now. Um, he does seem to be a little bit better since we've done the work on his foot. So hopefully he continues to improve and hopefully he can come back into work in about six weeks. I'm crossing my fingers. I've got lots of plans still with Archie. I've had him for 11 years. He's my baby, aren't you? Well, Marco's getting jealous now because 
Yes, you're a good boy. Poor thing is getting so annoyed in his yard. But anyway, today is the day that Etta goes down to the vets, which is so, so, so exciting. Um, just down here to give Marco some work. Obviously, I only have Lady and Marco now to work. Um, so I'm gonna work Marco and then, yes, I know, it's boring, isn't it? Boring. <laughs> God, I didn't think I was that bad, guys. Um, Working Marco and then going to Yellingbo to get Etta and she's going to go to the vet. So we'll get a lot of footage from that and we'll see her settling into her new place. She, as of a few days ago, she still hadn't really bagged up at all. So I'm hoping that she's a little further along because she's going to be at the vets for a long time, I think. Honestly, I think Marg says that she bagged up pretty close to falling, but she doesn't really remember as her last fall was six years ago. So she thinks that she does tend to bag up a little bit closer. So hopefully that's the case and she starts to bag up quickly soon because otherwise it could be another three weeks and I'm dying. I got myself, made the mistake of getting myself very excited. And now that it's eight days to like to her due date, Nothing seems to be happening and I've just got myself in a kerfuzzle. I'm really, really, really ready to meet Rev Bubba. So we will saddle up Marco now and I'll see if I can get some clips from that and then we will go into the vets. So we will talk to you soon. Bye. Archie's gonna get upset even though we're literally less than 100 meters away from him and we are in full view. <laughs> Cue. Poor Archie. So Marco has also been out of work just, just for a little while. I think he's had like three weeks off. Um, just because of life. Life has been very busy lately. Um, with the fall, I just finished my uni um, assignments. Um, Archie getting his laminitis, it's just been hectic. So I've actually got a show, like a proper show with Arch, um, Marco, sorry, there we go, that was a slip of the tongue. So with Marco, can't take Archie obviously, so Marco is going to Triple T showing, so need to get his butt into gear. So should be good, so... God. So, um... Yes, getting him back into shape. Can you knock? So, we'll 
let's get this started. interesting to say the least. I'm pretty sure that the camera actually stopped filming so don't know if you'll actually have seen anything before I filmed this. Honestly, can you hear that? Wait, whoa! Manners. So Michael is very fresh. He's 17 one so when he decides that he kind of wants to reef his head up, what is it? Pimple on a pumpkin? Is that the that the saying not sure so he ended up good so hopefully tomorrow he will have got all of his sillies out yes hello Archie your boyfriend's back is your boyfriend back Marco does not care so we will saddle up now, I mean unsaddle now, and then go get Etta. See you guys soon. I did lady as well but I didn't film any of that because honestly it's, it's pretty boring um, and we've got a whole video of her lunging so I will 
link it down below if you want to watch that one so lady lunged micro done we'll do them both again tomorrow so I'm going home now hopefully have some snacks or maybe even lunch haven't even had lunch yet so then we'll go down to where it is and we'll take her to the vet and get her settled in so so exciting I'm starving so I'll see you in a bit so my camera died so I have to film on my phone but this is our little duck family I'll insert a clip here of them when they were very little and look at them now they're so big such a huge family as well I'm wondering if it was a blended family sometimes I think that happens when I don't know how it happens if the parents die or if other another pair just steals the babies but look how cute they are and they've all survived every single one of them which is amazing because there's foxes and dogs and owls and basically everything so cute so that's good So guys, we are driving currently, obviously not actually driving, sitting in my driveway, about to drive up to go see Edda. So she is going to the vet today. She is 332 days today. Still honestly not showing any signs of falling. She's absolutely killing me, as I said before. She hasn't bagged up. She hasn't really dropped in her belly. She hasn't really um, relaxed her muscles near her dock and like down her legs. Um, really basically nothing she's just quite content apparently being a beach ball so she was meant to go on the 7th to the vet which is two weeks before her due date which is the 21st of November but we decided to wait a little bit just because she wasn't showing any signs but now that she's about a week to her due date I think it's about eight days yeah um, we've just decided to take her she can settle in take as long as she likes to fall trying to just think that she knows how long baby needs to be cooked for and just putting it back in her hands although I would hope that she would hurry up a little bit so she'll be going to the vet now we should get some good clips here getting her settled in so we're here I'm going inside to have a coffee and then we're gonna go down and get her and we'll go Did you feel like heaven? Did you ring like silver in a wasted light? Still, I'm trying to find. Did you sink through the battle cold? Did you ring like silver in a wasted light? Still, I'm trying to find. Funny that I think of you right now Knowing of the years that turn to cloud I'm still coming down And you know it ain't that way Feeling all the things I could not say I'm still coming down You're still coming down Hi Dolly! Ed is just having a bite to eat before we go. She's actually got a little bit of mud fever on her back, back leg, so they're a bit swollen. We've been treating them, poor girl. It's because of all this long grass and we've had so much rain, but then hot weather. Poor mama. So, I'm getting ready to go. She'll go in the truck.
So we are here, we are just about to get it off at this stunning property, there's another pregnant man just here. So we'll talk to you guys soon, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get. been a while since those last clips when we dropped Edda off at the vets and a lot has happened since then so Edda is now back home she was only there for about four days so when she um, got dropped off her mud fever that we'd been treating for a little bit that I think I mentioned actually flared up a lot so they were really swollen so we had to get the vet out to see because obviously what we were doing is you can't use steroids on a pregnant mare so we were finding it we were keeping it under control but then it just kind of got a little bit out of hand so she had to go on some antibiotics and we had to take her home because she needed to be treated twice a day so it was just too difficult to have her at the vets um, and us going there it was just a bit hard so as you can see she's safely at home now and we've actually decided to have her fall down at home which wasn't the plan but I think you just need to go with the flow with horses so not the plan but it's not she's not a maiden mare so it's not her first fall Let's see if I can keep getting her in the background there she's snoozing Evie good girl so she's gonna have her fall here which honestly I think is pretty exciting um, so we're doing fall watch now. Um, I'll add a little bit in um, now of what we're doing. So I haven't started official fall watch with the hourly night checks. I will be staying here, um, camping out and checking her, but I haven't started those yet. So we're just pH, um, pH testing her milk. She's bagged up now, which is so, so, so exciting because she hadn't bagged up for ages. She bagged up in under eight hours. I'll insert some pictures here now. So really exciting that we can actually see some changes now. I reckon it's gonna be another week. What do we reckon? A week and a half. No, a week. So middle of next week, as it is a Thursday as I film this. And then I think we will have a little rev bubba. So I'll just do a few things around here. Um, checking on her mud fever, pH testing her milk. And I'll take you along with me. I'm also getting the falling down paddock ready as well, which is the one that is behind me here. So it's the smallest paddock that they have. Oh, very exciting. So I'm just cleaning that up. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I'm here and we are going to pH test Edda. So I did it the other day. I'll insert a picture of what it was here. Um, so these are pool testing strips. So it's going to help me um, decide what pH the milk is at. So last time I tested her, the milk was still clear. So it will go from clear to probably a bit cloudy and then to white, obviously. And the pH will drop as it goes through that. Now, we want the um, pH strip, the little square at the top, to be the color of the lid. So we call it lemons, so it's gonna be below 6.2. So we want lemons because that's pretty much an indication that she will fall soon. So obviously it's not an exact science, but it kind of does give you a little bit of an idea of when they will go. Some mares can drop really fast, so I was hoping because she bagged up so fast that she wasn't just gonna suddenly drop really fast, because it's good to 
know when they're going to go so if they stick at lemons for a little bit at least you know that you can be doing the nightly checks then so i will do a test now and i'll insert some pictures when i get the results for you so you guys can see so this is how it looks let's see how it goes So it's a little bit, a little bit lighter, I would say. So I'm just going to take a photo for you guys now. So it's probably gone down a little bit. I'd say it's in between 6.8 and 7.2 now. So the bit where it went straight away was actually quite orange. So that's really, really, really exciting. Um, I think that it's going to be about a week. Um, away, so probably it's Thursday today. It is Thursday the 28th, so I will guess probably around midweek next week she may go. Not an exact science. <laughs> You're kicking the stable. You sick of it too? Yeah. It's not dropping dropping really really quick though, which is what I was kind of worried about because she bagged up so quick. I thought that she might um, also drop in her pH really quick because some mares can do that. She may still do that, but I'm hoping that she'll sit at lemons. For a little bit so that um we can get a proper follow watch going and kind of know when to expect something's gonna happen so i'll give you a little look see at her udder so you can see how much it grew just in that was basically eight hours and it's filled a little from the back since then actually I think it has gone down a bit from behind since I'll insert a picture here of what it was yesterday it's actually gone down a bit oh it uh... so yeah you can see that's gone down quite a bit this is a butt she's rubbed out a little bit of her tail so it has dropped a little bit. You can see it's a bit more pointy. And the poor girl must be so over it. And so now it's paddock cleaning time. So you guys can just sit at home and watch me do all the hard work of cleaning up the falling paddock. So enjoy this nice little time lapse.
trick revelation on rotation And like a year long minute frozen in it Stop to get in If I know the way So shine light Well guys, this is the vase that has just cleaned an entire paddock worth of poo in the 30 degree heat. I actually don't know if that's 30 degrees, but it feels like 30 degrees. I am dead. I didn't bring a hat or sunglasses. I am so stupid. I live in Australia and I still can't get these things right. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Evie's dead too. Evie, you dead? She's my little helper. She's such a good girl. So I'm sitting down, got my little bag of Doritos. Meat lovers pizza flavor would recommend. So I just thought I'd let you know what's going to be going on. So as I've said before, where I am right now is a good friend's property. So this is where um, Etta is. Now the plan definitely wasn't for Etta to fall down here, but after a few things that just haven't really gone as planned, which is kind of typical, we just kind of got to roll with the punches. Um, we've decided that she is going to fall here. So it makes me a little bit nervous just because I'm expecting a big fall still should be all right because Etta has actually fold two times before between night checks so she fold completely on her own within minutes so I'll be staying here while Etta is about to fold we'll be doing hourly checks I'm going to be so tired but it's all going to be worth it it's going to be very very exciting I don't know if I'm going to stay in the spare room yet or if I'm going to actually set up a swag just right here because the falling down paddock is just there Oh my god what's going on with these baby hairs this, this is what happens so I will stay here and I think I'll end the vlog here hopefully the next one that comes out it will be Rev Bubba being born fingers crossed who knows how long she's gonna keep us waiting I my bets going off the pH I think she will go in about a week so mid next week the date today is the 28th of November so watch this space hopefully next time I check in with you guys we will have a fall so don't forget to follow my Instagram as that's probably the first place you're gonna see Rev Baba so my Instagram my Facebook they're linked below make sure you hit the bell button I'm not sure if I'm gonna make you all wait for a vlog to see Rev Bubba yet. So hit the bell button because YouTube may be the first place you see the foal. Haven't decided yet. So watch this space. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Go have a look at all my other videos that I will link just in the next screen if you haven't watched them already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye from all of us. See ya. I'm a bit